You're such an asshole. When I'm from the Great Depression. No. No, you're not from the Great Depression. Even if you are from the Great Depression, you're not from the Great Depression. What we're going to talk today about is, as many of you get a little bit older, like the old Claire Meister, you have grandma or even your parents. You happen to be a little bit older than me. Your parents are a little bit older. And you find out that they are hoarders. And they use the excuse, but I could use that. I'm from the Great Depression era. I remember the Great Depression. A couple things. More often than not, they're not from the Great Depression. They are from the 40s. <laughs> Which, although during rationing times of World War II, it was a little bit tight, uh, was not the Great Depression. Two, even if they were from the Great Depression, it is unlikely they are old enough to remember it. They are two or three years old. Right? What this boils down to, and this has, this has everything to do with American consumerism, is it's predominantly baby boomers, maybe even the silent generation, that just has been completely co-opted by materialism and consumerism. These are people void of souls who have taken things and replaced the love and interaction and care and compassion and conversation with human beings and replaced that with things, with material items. What things doesn't matter. As you'll know, you'll go through it. I mean, people will be saving. There's like the professional hoarders, like where you have to walk through, you know, paths to get to the toilet. And then there are people who just collect trinkets and shit. And that's more commonly there. We're like, what are you going to do with these plates? Well, I don't know. I might need a plate. What if, what if 40 people come over and we all need dinner? Or, uh, why, why do you have all these books? Why do, you have, why do you have Kindle? You haven't read these books. You can take your finger and go right down. There's dust. Like, there's a line of dust. What are you doing with this book? Why do you get it on Kindle? Why well, like the feel of paper? I'm doing guy impersonations, too. I, I, I use that book. I might read it again. It's like, it, 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 no, it's, it's cat in the hat. You're not going to read it again. You know what happens. So, here's, here's what's happening for those of you that got to deal with hoarders. Or just getting mom and pa to get rid of this shit and give it up and accept that they're dying. They again have replaced human love and interaction with things. They don't have anything else in life except for these things. Right? So when you go in there and you try, what is this? What is that? We're, not, we're moving. We're downscaling. No, oh, I got my stuff. I need my stuff. What do you do? Let them sit. Fuck you. Bye. You move your own shit, Grandma. You take, get, you get your own, no, you move it. I'm not moving. Let them live in filth. Let them live in squalor. Because here's who, here's who has the problem when it comes to either real hoarders or people who just are irrational and won't get rid of their shit, is you fail to realize that they love the stuff more than you. And you are the one that has to take that as the insult and let those people go. You love that fucking bookcase more than me? You love that shit? You love these old clothes that have been outdated since the 70s more than me? More than your, your brother, your sister, your children, your nephews, your niece, whatever. You love things more than humans? Fine. Have fun with your shit. Have fun with your things. I hope that that, that leopard print 1980s dress that you, know, you baby boomers thought you were all hot in in 1982 over in New York. What was it? Lisa Minnelli was popular. Or David Letterman was the shiznit. Yeah, that, 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 I hope that hugs you back. Because uh, we ain't visiting you at the nursing home. And then you go, you go, you set yourself free, you don't help them out. You don't help them out. Aaron, what happens if they die? Then we gotta clean all that shit out. You're gonna have to clean all that shit out anyway. At least when your parents or your grandparents or whoever the fuck is hoarding is dead, they're out of the way and not, not arguing with them. Like, throw it in the bin, throw it in the bin. Get one of those big ass bins, back it up, just get an assembly line, chuck it all the fuck out. What if I miss, what if there's a, a, a Monet painting in there somewhere? Doesn't matter. Just throw the fucking shit in the bin. So that's, that's it. So for those of you, ooh, I'm from the Great Depression era. One, no you're not. Two, you love things more than people. Three, you're disgusting fucking disgrace for a human being. All right? So knock that shit. And you're a liar too, because there's very few people left from the Great Depression era. All right? And then for those of you that have to deal with this shit, don't deal with this shit. Okay, keep your crap. Bye. We will come visit you in Christmas when all the crap is gone and you, uh, we don't have to walk through paths where it's not like, oh, I got to move crap because you got so much crap around here. We, we will come and visit you when you've gotten rid of your shit. 
Because then you will have, uh, at least appreciate the fact that it is human interaction and not things that makes makes life worth living. So. All right, that's all the Clairmeister has. I don't know. I got like maybe two or three more things. Oh, for fucking Christ's sake, Lee. All right, I'll see you guys later. Toodles.